You up there? Are you all right? We're ready for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. He looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad. Take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. Copertura in movimento, copertura in movimento! While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing this story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. They would have done anything for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first. <laughs> troops were some foot soldiers. After that, the church would be ours.
There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there. It was in danger as long as that artillery gun remained, so I had to take it down. was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. Ante. 
teniamo unite le sezioni! was manned by Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself. the last man, but then I hear a noise that I will never forget. They were targeting Matteo's unit below me, so I do the only thing I can. It was me against an entire enemy bomber squadron. If those men were killed, our advance would be completely halted, and I would have lost Matteo. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. When I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh God, Matteo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice.
I had to find Matteo. You could have been anywhere. Started with the first thing that came through the fog. There were allies pinned inside lodges. I needed to save them. before we saw them. Armored vehicles coming from the enemy fort. But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. Sheer force of will, we took out their firepower. The lodges were safe, and I had to move on. You never said, was Matteo in those lodges? No. The men said his unit had made it further up. Thank you. 
Every part of me wanted to get out of the trenches. I could hear Italian yelling. I knew my friends were trapped. Everywhere I looked, too late. I felt alone among the ghosts. After a while, I couldn't even look at the bodies. We had to have made it to the fort. through the underground tunnels, or above ground by circling around the back. Not through the front? I no longer had my armor. It was impossible. Mateo wasn't there. I still think about that field. Every day. I'd almost 
stopped looking. Started giving in to the hope that Matteo had escaped. And then... No! No! He never got older. And here I am, still. Who decides such things? Buon compleanno.